Just like that, the rain has returned to Provence, which is quite nice because it's been very hot. So these little mid breaks of rain is very, very nice. We're in the city center today because I am still on the search for some clothing uh, for the wedding that we're gonna be shooting in two weeks. And we had to go to Zara because I've been looking at thrift stores and I haven't found anything. And there is a certain dress code, which is beige and white or just beige so uh, we're on the search for something and yeah we're just uh, taking you out on this rainy day with us and not sure what else we're going to be up to maybe coffee and just enjoy this rainy friday It looks big, but oh my god, it's so cute. How so cute is that? Um, you pay by kilo, so this is uh, 40 euros per kilo. No luck at the kilo shop, but I showed it in my last vlog and I absolutely love that store. I had to show Paul. There's finally two now thrift stores located in Aix-en-Provence. There's other stores here that sell vintage pieces, but they're really expensive. But that one is actually quite uh, reasonable. You could pay per kilo and then they also have some items for around 20 euros, a little bit higher as well. So there are pieces that are reasonably priced and that are a little pricey, but I'm just so happy that there's more and more secondhand stores, but didn't find anything for the wedding, so it's okay. Um, I might just have to end up buying something at Zara or Mango, so we'll see. <laughs> So that uh, restaurant, not restaurant, dessert shop we went to was really good. It was our first time there. I walked past it the other day and I really wanted to go back because 
the interior looked really nice and it's a Japanese place and Paul loves Japan. So we went there. I asked for a matcha and then he recommended a rose one that has lychee dragon fruit, I think. Rose. Rose. Anyways, it was delicious. The perfect temperature. The music was nice inside. There was probably a two other people in there. So if you're ever an ex and want a nice place to go try dessert, definitely check them out. It's called Maison uh, uh, Mux. Mux. And it's like a mixture. Well, they call it that because there's uh, they have this dessert that's a mixture of a cookie and mochi. And so Paul got it before we left so he could try it at home. Um, no vegan ones, but that's okay. I'll just have to salivate while watching you eat that. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so good. <laughs> it's a soft cookie and it should have some sort of a mochi rice flour inside. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> there it is. All right, let's try it. Well, you can see here, the mochi inside. Mmm. What do you think? You're not a big mochi fan, no. so I'm surprised you tried it. Kind of reminds me of like um, a s'mores cookie that would have like a big marshmallow in the middle, but it's not sweet. Like a marshmallow is super sweet, but this isn't, so. Mmm, that sounds like my, it has my a, kind of dessert. Yeah, it has that like soft, chewy texture. Mmm. <laughs> Alright. Alright, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. 7 out of 10. Okay, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And their cappuccino, did you like their cappuccino? Mm. Damn, that looks so good to me. I'm like, the I cappuccino know. was okay, yeah. But your, your matcha was, was better. Yeah. Okay, bye! Bye!